Monday Night Tennis Baseball, we welcome you to TBL Park for the Bandits against the Thunder here for the finishing game of TBL Week 1. We'd like to thank you for joining us here. Game 1 was a success. The Bulls played very well against the Goats and uh, everything went running smooth. Now we got to finish off that week with Thunder versus Bandits. Nico Martinez on the mound for the Bandits. His first career appearance and an interesting choice by manager Nick Solomon. Uh, but first the lineups for the Thunder. Bennett, Peyton, Eric, and Zach are going to be the first four, followed by a few more coming after. But a really interesting choice for Nick Solomon, and it kind of echoes the same situation that the Goats had last game by starting Mikey Fierstadt. As the count's going to move to 2-0 and now, Bennett's going to step up and be the first batter here. But with Brady on the field, Nick elects to go with Nico as this one's popped in the left. Ryan's going to secure it for out number one. And we are well underway now. Both teams playing their first games of the season. As I mentioned earlier, the Bulls and Goats finished their first game a couple days ago as this counts gonna move to 1-0 another rookie joining the league Peyton steps up to the plate now another count moving to 2-0 here high drive into center Ryan's trying to get under it seems like he misread it a little but it's gonna be caught for out number two so two pretty quick outs by Nico and Eric is stepping up to the plate Hoping to extend this inning. Takes the pitch inside. 1 0. Basically, every strike Nico's thrown has been put into play. But every batter has gone to a 2 0 count, and now this one's going to go into a 3 0 count. This pitch is going to clip the zone, and it's going to move to 3 1. Eric, the manager for the team in the Hawaiian shirts, the Thunder. As he fouls this one back. The Thunder may be one of the most exciting teams we see this season. As the count is going to reset for Nico. He's going to ask for a new ball. And get back to work on Eric. Hard ground ball. This one's going to get past Nick. Eric is going to get on for the first hit of the season for the Thunder. And his first hit as well. And this top of the first will continue. Another rookie, Zach, takes ball one here. And swings through that one. A hearty cut there. One and one. Swings through that one as well. So the count's going to move to one and two now. And Nico's looking for the strikeout as he bounces this one low. Two and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. And Nico's going to get the strikeout. So something you don't see very often is a strikeout in TBL. And Nico's got it. End of the first. We're here with Nuku Martinez recording the first strikeout of the CBL season. How do you feel? What was your approach when that batter came up to the plate? Plate? Plate. Plate. knew I was going to shake him. He knew. He's confident. So we're back here for the bottom of the first. We're going to be popping in and out with some on-field interviews as Peyton's going to make his pitching debut here for the Thunder. His first career TBL start. And here's the 1-0. High pop up in the right, and Zach is going to go over to the foul line and make a catch. This team has energy, and you could already see it early here in the first. There's a great catch there. We see the on field camera grabbing that one. And with one out, here comes Nick Solomon, coach of the Bandits. This Thunder team is basically completely fresh, save for Eric and Bennett. 
This is a completely fresh squad. Three rookies. The most of any team. The Bandits are in a close... The Bandits and Bulls are in a close second with two rookies. And the Goats have one rookie. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. And that's going to hit him and reset the count here. So with one away, he's got to face Nick with a fresh count. This one's low for ball one. one -oh on its way. Swing and a drive into left field. It's going to hook foul. That ball is mashed, though. That might not be a spot he goes back to in this at bat, as that one's going to miss low as well. One and one. Here's the pitch. Round ball there. Eric's going to come across, throw on a first, and a solid little play from the Thunder shortstop. And that's going to be two outs here in the bottom of the first. So Brady's going to step up to the plate for the Bandits. And this is, he's made it vocal. This is a team he does not want to play on. So we'll see how that affects how he plays in the game as he swings and misses at that and the count moves to one and one. Ground ball there. That one's going to get by Eric. And Brady's going to get on for a hit. So it seems like his preference of team isn't bothering him at the plate as Ryan's going to swing and miss through that one. Quickly moving to 0-2 now here with two outs. We could be seeing another strikeout here. Here's the pitch. High pop-up, and it's going to bounce off of Peyton, but he had it in fair territory, and there's going to be no throw, and Ryan's going to get there safely. So if you see the, the ball hit his hand in fair territory and got knocked into foul territory, and that's going to allow Ryan to get first base. And now Nico's going to step up with two men on here in the first. Swings and fouls one back. 1-1 one, one count. Payton's got himself into a little bit of a jam here. Let's see if he can work his way out of it. 2-1 pitch here. First rookie to start a game this season. As this one's flied out into center. Max is under it. And the catch is made. We head to the top of the second. We're back here at TBL Park for the top of the second. Remember, next game is going to be the start of week two. The Thunder go off and face the Goats for some week two action. This one's hard on the ground. Nick's going to knock it down and make a throw to first. A nice play for the out. But the Thunder want to ask about it. And they're going to challenge. Let's take a look. He was His foot was on the base, but I don't think he had control of the ball. But the umps have made a decision. Let's see what they have to say. Stay live. After further review, we have figured out that the runner is safe. He is safe. So with that call being safe, Max is going to have his first career hit there. And that's going to be charged as a base hit. For the Thunder. And they're going to have one man on here with no outs. Bennett's going to step up to the plate. He's 0 for 1 on the day. So the Thunder have gotten back around as he takes a ball inside. Another ball here. As I was saying earlier, the Goats are going to face off against the Thunder for week 2. Uh, the time for that game is undetermined as of right now. This one's smacked. Brady's got it. Throw on the first. Double play. And this one was absolutely smoked. But Brady makes the catch and throws it back before Max can get there. And for someone who doesn't want to be on the field, he's playing well. 
This pitch is inside to start off Peyton 1 and 0. Quick 2 and 0 now. Nico has thrown a lot of balls today. As this one's on the ground, Brady going to try to make another play, but nobody's covering first. And Peyton's going to get second on it. And that may be Nico's fault there for not covering. And let's see if that bites the bandits later on in the inning. Eric's going to step up to the plate. He had a hit in his first at bat, and now he has a chance to drive in the first run of this game here in the second. Takes a pitch high for ball one. The thing about the Thunder tonight is it seems like they're swinging at every single strike as this one's down the line. They're waving them home. The throw never comes in, and Eric is going to reach second with an RBI double, his second hit of the game. He took that inside pitch and hit it down the line where nobody was covering. And the Thunder are going to take a 1-0 lead here. As Zach is going to foul the ball off. He's trying to redeem himself after a strikeout here. Which is something we've seen very few times in TBO. High pop up in the left. Ryan's under it. And he's going to make the catch for out number three. We head... To the third inning, but not before the Thunder score one. It's one nothing. I'm Lazaro Ariba from the Bulls. Yes! Sky down to down. right field. It's going to get past yes. Ryan. And you're watching TBL on BSN. The Bandits are looking to answer here for that run, and they've got sub Vincent Martinez in to deal with that but how we want to know how that Bulls game was so let's throw it down on the field to our reporter um I think they're pretty solid going in I thought the Goats were definitely going to be one of the top teams but this Thunder team they're exciting they're exciting this one's hit a little bit of a nubber the throw on the first and that is a great play by Bennett the lefty over in the infield how did that play feel I don't know. Wise words from Bennett. It's so interesting the things you hear when you throw it down to reporters on the field. As we've got one out here in the second, and this one is a high pop up. Bennett's going to make the catch for round number two. He's out. Steven! That on field camera is giving us some stuff that we've never seen before. You always can kind of see what's going on on the, on the field, but never quite what everybody's thinking. As this one's ripped into center, Bennett was playing in. So Brady's going to head to second here. It's going to be a close play. It's not. The throw is going to head into third, and Brady has a triple. Brady, how did that hit feel? <laughs> so this one was hit. Bennett was playing over in a second base area, and this ball just kept on rolling. I figured there was going to be a close play at second. But the throw ended up having to go into third. And Brady's having a nice little game here. And the Bandits have a chance to tie this game up. Ryan swings and misses. That pitch had some movement on it. The 0-2 pitch on its way. Low for ball one. Peyton trying to get a strikeout here to get him out of the inning. Here it is. Swings and fouls it back. Ryan's hanging on. The one two. They are winning. No, they're not. We're losing one nothing. Swing and a miss. And now they're saying it's not a strikeout. There was the 0-1, oh, 0-2, one, oh, two, one, two. The foul off. And yeah, that should have been called strike three. But it's not. And now it's gonna hit him, so the count's gonna reset. And the bandits have a chance to take advantage. This one's fouled back 0-1. Interesting how that wasn't picked up on the field by anybody, but this one's going to be a high drive to left. Max is under it. And they're going to leave Brady stranded at third, 1-0. Through two as we head to the top of the third here in Parkland. And not happen. Line drive now, juggled and caught by...
We're back. Nick Solomon making his first relief appearance. And it seems like Nico's day is going to be over. A lot of balls thrown, but when he did get it in the zone, it seemed to be hit. Only gave up one run here. Now Max is going to step up to the plate. He's one for one on the day. Remember to watch TBL Moments of the Week later on this week as that pitch misses up high. After every week of games, we'll have the Moments of the Week. And this pitch is going to drop in one and one. We're seeing some nice pitching today as this one smashed way up. Vincent's under it. And he's going to drop it. And that is going to allow Max to get on. So the substitute player kind of hurts him a little, and that's a quick at-bat as this one skied to Brady. He's going to make a catch, and that's going to be out number one here in the third. Now, obviously, Vincent's just there as a player like anybody else, but as a sub, it kind of hurts a little more when the air comes from him. Here's the pitch. That one's going to be fouled out of play. Some nice... Uh, <laughs> Vertical movement I'm on these pitches from Nick. And on and then tag, tag every this one's call. hitting the oh left. Nico with a bad route, and it's going to get over his head. The throw comes in, and it's going to be first and second here with only one away for the Thunder. And the Bandits are back in a jam. Eric is two for two on the day. This one's grounded. And it's going to be called a foul ball. e First and second here with only one away. The 0 1 pitch. Fouls it off. 0 2. Nick potentially able to get out of a jam here. This one misses upstairs. 1 2. Top of the third, two men on here. The 1 2 pitch on its way. Ground ball, and it's fouled back. Foul ball back. The 1-2 again is way out. Not sure what he was going for on that pitch. Pop up into center. Ryan steps back for it, and it's going to get through his hands. Another error in the inning, and the bases are now going to be loaded with thunder for Zach, who's 0 for 2 on the day. An RBI here could redeem his day here. And it would be huge for the team. Maybe give him some insurance before heading into the bottom of the inning. One out here. Bandits hoping for a possible double play. But it already happened earlier in the game. So maybe pushing their luck. Pop fly and it's down but Nick is going to wisely let it roll foul as that would have brought in a run and probably resulted in no outs so a smart play there by the pitcher to possibly save a run there one nothing game here in the third Zach up to the plate hoping for some RBIs against Nick Solomon takes a ball out two and one the pitch inside and the count will reset again ground ball Vincent's got it he's going to go for the man at second and miss so now Peyton's going to score the throw on the third and the out is made so the runs are going to come in but a fantastic play by Brady and Nico check this out Brady goes and gets the ball Fumbles it a little. Eric decides to take it. And the throw is going to be just perfect for Nico, who was running in from the outfield, to just reach out and tag. So even though that's obviously a negative play for the Bandits as two runs come in, that is a solid play there by Brady and Nico. And now there's two outs. Nick hoping to stop the bleeding here against Max, who's been on twice today. Pop fly, that's going to go foul. The 2-2 two -two pitch. High pop-up heading into foul territory. Nick is going to dive and make an incredible catch. 
That has to be one of the top defensive plays we've seen. Take a look at this. Coming off the mound. Gets extended and dives after that ball. That's an incredible play by Nick. And he's still on the ground after that. But we're going to head to the bottom of the third here. Thunder up. Coming in to try to finish it off here for the Thunder. Get them to 1-0. This is his first appearance of the year. It's a lefty arm you don't see a lot in TVL. Nico's down 0-2. Here's a pop-up. That ball is just going to squeeze down. And the Bandits have a base runner here in the third. You never know what's going to happen here in one inning of TBL as Vincent steps up to the plate. Hard ground ball, Eric's got it. He's gonna have to beat Nico to the bag and he does. A smart play by Eric as he runs Nico down. Check, uh, he's deep in that hole, in the six hole and he's gonna get the out. A lot of players would have tried to make a peg there and that just doesn't work a lot of the time. So a smart play by Eric to get the out and there's one out. High pop-up. It's going to be foul again. That was a ground ball. That one's going to get through. They're calling it fair. Here comes Vincent in to score. And Nick is going to have a triple. They're obviously going to check on it. I thought it was a pop fly. But let's check it. If we can get a better angle. That one is on the ground. That looks like it may be on the line. The lines are so scuffed. The call is going to stand, I believe. But that is borderline. And it's going to stand. So Brady's going to step up now as the tying run here in this game in the bottom of the third. As that one's inside for ball one. One and oh. That one's even further inside. Two and oh. This one's a pop fly over to the right side. Zach's going to come in and get it for out number two. So Bennett's an out away from getting out of this. I thought Nick's hit at first was a pop fly, but it turned out to be a ground ball that just stayed between the lines. So Bennett's going to go after Ryan here and try to get the final out of the game. He rapid fires two straight balls as this one's hit to left and foul. Quick work here, 2-1. High pop-up again. 2-2 two, two now. The pitch from Bennett. Swings and misses. So the second strikeout of the game overall is just something you don't see a lot. The Thunder are going to take it 3-1. Thank you for joining us. Here on BSN, be sure to come back next week for the Thunder to face off against the Goats. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.